bring in MSNBC chief legal correspondent Ari Melber. Ari, great to see you. And let's talk a little bit about uh, Garland. This is a guy who has prosecutorial experience, uh, graduated with honors from Harvard, uh, both uh, university and then JD. I mean, this is a guy who uh, clearly is very comfortable with the court system, and 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 someone whose name has been uh, listened to and bantered around now for some time. That's right, Jose. Merrick Garland has been on President Obama's shortlist in both of his other processes looking at this. That is why so many people thought seeing his name here again a third time meant this must have been serious. Uh, he brings some of the most impeccable judicial credentials of any name we have been looking at, although many were, of course, highly qualified. As the chief judge here of the D.C. Circuit, uh, he is essentially the top judge on the top court in the land other than the Supreme Court and has a wide array of experience as a federal power reviewer because he, he deals with the agency action, executive power, the Guantanamo cases, guns in Washington, D.C. These are all areas where he has overseen these cases and led the court as he's been chief judge over the past several years and before that a D.C. circuit judge. So he has tremendous experience and is seen as uh, what Orrin Hatch once called a potential consensus choice. Merrick Garland here is a choice that reflects the White House trying to put someone forward who is essentially, in their view, judicially unassailable. Ari Melber, stay with me. I want to go to NBC Justice Correspondent Pete Williams, who was the one that was able to break this news this morning right here on MSNBC and on NBC. Pete, tell us a little bit more about Merrick Garland and the choice that President Obama has made by choosing him. Well, in one way, it's a surprising choice because Merrick Garland has been considered before by the Obama administration. Uh, twice before, and twice before he's been, uh, dis the president has decided to nominate a woman. So in one sense, as a white male, it's an unlikely choice. In another sense, as a 63-year-old, it's an unusual choice. Uh, that is an age very close to my own heart, but it's also older than the traditional age for Supreme Court nominees here in the last couple of decades. Presidents like to appoint young people, uh, younger people, that can stay on the court for decades. Uh, so that's odd for Merrick Garland. But on the other hand, as you've been hearing from Ari and others, Merrick Garland is someone who is extremely well respected here in Washington, in the Senate, by Republicans. When he was confirmed in 1997, uh, uh, 32 Republicans voted for him. Uh, out of the 76 who voted to confirm him. And the only no votes were really based on uh, uh, considerations of the size of the Federal Court of Appeals. In 1997, there was and continues to be something of a controversy about whether the D.C. Court of Appeals has too many judges given its workload. And that was really the issue. Not, not many people opposed him because of who he was. He has uh, prosecution experience, as you've said. He served in the Justice Department in the Clinton administration and worked uh, very in a high visible role in the Oklahoma City bombing case and also the Unabomber case. So he has a, a lot of support, uh, bipartisan support, and he's also well liked, and that helps too. Uh, he's a friend of many uh, members of the Senate, uh, Republicans and Democrats. So what the White House hopes here is that they put forth a nominee who will be hard for senators to oppose A, based on a personal level, and B, on an ideological level. Uh, so the, the, the goal here, of course, is to fight against this current in the Republican Senate right now. Republican senators have said they don't want to confirm any nominee now, that that should be up to the next president. The White House either hopes to embarrass Republicans into doing what they've said they won't do, or at the very least uh, persuade them to confirm this choice of Merrick Garland if a Democrat is elected president in November, and then the basic pitch would be Merrick Garland is a moderate by anybody's uh, measurement, and he would be more moderate than any nominee that a Democratic president would put forward, so uh, the Senate Republicans should cut their losses. That would be the pitch to the Senate. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me, or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.